Greetings, Salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to filter several columns all at once. In this data set we have here, we have various value investor portfolios. You can see the portfolio name over there. And you can see some of these columns contain values of none. This one contains a value of none, and that one contains a value of none. I'm going to show you how to filter out all of these nuns all at once. And then in the second case, I want to exclude anything that is hold, and I want to exclude anything that is by Bill Ackman. I'm going to show you how to do that all in one step, all at once. Enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, let's get the data in Power Query. Select your data set. Go to data. Go to from table arrange. This opens Power Query. I'm just going to delete this change type step over there. I don't like when it adds it. Let's change the name of this query. Let's call it like remove filter none. Okay. So in this case, we're going to filter out the none. So if you look at stock portfolio over there, the stock over there, you can see there's a none over there. In the resensitivity, there's a none over there. And you can see there's various nuns in there. Some of them is uppercase, some of them is lowercase. And then under portfolio name, we have some nuns as well. So let me show you how to do that all in one step. I'm just going to expand over there. I'm going to say add a new step. So we're going to use the table table add column because I'm going to add a column. We're going to refer to the table and the previous step is called source. All right. So now the new column name will be called filter columns. Yes. And then in there, I'm going to say each. So for this one, I want to check if the keyword none exists, not being uppercase, lowercase, or case insensitive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the function list matches any. All right, I'm gonna, I need to basically it's going to return true or false for each of the lists. I'm going to say yeah, the columns I want to look at in curly brackets is the stock column. The second column in square brackets is the recent activity. And in the last one is the portfolio name column. Okay, so now I've specified the column names and you can see after the curly bracket, I'm like, yeah, that's great. Now I want to check each of these columns. I'm going to say each, right? Now I want to use text contains because I want to check underscore for each row inside of these columns. I want to check uh, text contains. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the keyword none. And here, because it's case I want to make a case insensitive. I'm just going to say comparer or uh, ordinal ignore case. So this is going to ignore the case. I'm just going to close it out. So now if we look at the column over there, you can see it's got trues and falses. I'm just going to quickly say, show me all the trues. And you can see there's all the nuns and there's all the nuns because there's an uppercase nun, there's a uh, camel case nun there, there's a nun there. So basically these are all the nuns. So all you need to do here in the filter is saying, show me everything where it's false. Now you have a nice clean list. Isn't that incredible? Okay, now let's look at the second case. I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to say duplicate this query and let's call this filter multi. Okay, I'm going to delete all of these steps, delete the custom. What I want to do is I want to delete, so I want to filter out anything that is, let's say, hold in the recent activity and anything that is issued to Bill Ackman because I got something against Bill Ackman. Okay, so what do we do? We say add a new step and we're going to do the same thing. Table, add column. Yes. Refer to the source. We're going to give it a name. This is filter columns. Yes. In here, we're going to use a new, we're going to use another list function called list contains any. And with list contains any, we're going to show it all the various columns. So in curly brackets, we're going to say the first column we're looking at is the Recentivity, yes. And the second column in square brackets is portfolio, yes. And in there, because it's all part of the same function, contains any will check lists for specific values. So now the specific values I'm looking at in curly brackets is, first of all, anything that's hold. So in the recent activity column hold. And in the other one, which is the portfolio name, I'm looking for anything with bull. Ackman. All right. And I think I just close it out over there. And that should give me my column true and false. Let's quickly do a check. Let's say where it is true. Now you can see all the Bill Ackman's over there. And these other ones should all have holds. You can see that's all old. Well, now, isn't that cool? We can just bring it back into Excel. So now you've learned how to use two list functions and also filter multiple columns at once. Well, BA Sensei signing out.